One of my investors and longtime board members, Fred Wilson, um, has a, a very pithy description of the job of a CEO. And he says, your job is three things. One is to create the strategy for the business, the vision for the business, and to communicate it. The second is to build a team and to ensure that the organization has the talent that it needs to succeed. And Fred would say the third thing is to make sure there's enough cash in the bank. I would extend that a little bit to say uh, the third thing is to make sure the company executes on its plan, um, including being properly financed. All three of those roles, um, or all three of those functions are critical. Right? You can't have a successful business without a good strategy, a good team, and good execution and enough cash in the bank. In the early days of a business, uh, there are very few people that are going to be capable of generating the vision for the business or setting the strategy for the business other than you, maybe a close partner as a co-founder. So setting that vision is important, but I think even more important than that is being able to articulate the vision and communicate the vision in a way that's going to translate, that's going to make sense to all the different constituencies or stakeholders in and around your company. And that tends to be uh, sort of three broad buckets, your team, your customers, and potential investors or shareholders. Uh, so CEO's vision, I would say, is as much about the communication of the vision and the strategy as it is setting it in the first place, because that's really how uh, you're going to be able to rally people to your cause. The CEO's role around talent and around human capital, um, I would say, uh, ends up being uh, two different things. One is around selection and the other is around motivation. And there are lots of different pieces uh, of each of those things. But figuring out who to bring on board your organization is absolutely critical because, uh, especially in the early days, those first uh, 5, 10, 20 employees are the ones that are really going to make or break the business. They're the ones that uh, end up doing the lion's share of the work, not you. And they're the ones that have an awful lot uh, of power in shaping the culture and practices and behaviors of the organization. Beyond selection, um, motivation becomes incredibly important. So CEOs are leaders, are managers. And making sure that your workforce is motivated to jump out of bed in the morning um, and come give you their absolute best for 8, 10, 12, 15 hours is very important. That's what drives uh, the, the business forward. That's what writes the code or greets the customers, uh, whatever area of, uh, of the industry your business works in. Execution uh, is linked directly to the motivation uh, of people in the organization, and it's directly linked to the strategy you set as well. And making sure that goals are clear, that everyone is uh, pointed and rowing in the same direction, uh, making sure that deadlines are respected, uh, and that people are held accountable for results. There are very few people who can do that as effectively as the CEO. Making sure there's enough cash in the bank and having the company properly financed, again, is uh, it's one of those things that's sort of the, the lifeblood of the organization or the, the gas in the tank. It all comes back to being able to sell the vision. So selling the story and selling progress against the story to uh, investors, to potential investors, um, is one of the most important things you can do because without the cash in the bank, it's very hard to run the business. So I don't know that there's such a thing as an average day for a CEO, but there's certainly averages over time. And for me, I always try to spend as much time in market as I can with customers, uh, with partners, with prospects, um, understanding what their needs are, uh, and how my company is either meeting those needs or could be meeting those needs and building those important relationships. I would say over time that's probably about uh, a third of what I do. I then try to spend um, about half my time internally. And internally can mean lots of things. It could be one-on-one uh, -on -one meetings with people who report to me. It could be uh, team meetings with my executive staff. And the rest is going to be odds and ends. It's uh, going to be time with board and investors. It's going to be time um, thinking and, uh, and reading and learning and uh, working on projects myself. And then a certain amount of time that's going to industry events, obviously that blurs with being in market. On any given day, um, you're going to do some of those things. Uh, occasionally you'll do all of them. So no day is typical, but over time that's how it balances out. Thank you.